Hey everybody, so last time I showed you this uh, Boss DS1 pedal mod. Very simple diode mod. You just take out the clipping diodes. I made a video for that one. You can take a look at that in the description below. This is a mod that was published in an article on Reverb.com. I got all of my components for this on Mouser.com. This is a MOSFET transistor IRF. 520. So we got two IRF 520s that are going to replace the old clipping diodes. Now the old clipping diodes have two leads on them. These have three leads on them. So we're going to take this middle lead, bend it over. Like that. Solder it. Clamp it with my high-tech clamp. Let's try it. I'm gonna trim off that middle lead. Basically turns the transistor into a diode. So this is what this looks like with these transistors put in there. Put in the D4 and D5. It wasn't easy to get the big old fat transistor leads into the little diode holes, so I had to trim up the leads a little bit, make them a little narrower with some clippers. So that's a pain. You want to make sure they're facing the opposite direction. It doesn't really matter which one is facing which direction, as long as the two are facing opposite directions. So position C12. Right down there is the position for the capacitor for the tone control. And I remove that. And now we're gonna replace it with one of these things. This is a film capacitor, 0 0.022 microfarads. Here we can see the new capacitor that I installed. That was a pretty easy swap. And there's everything that I did, just three components. I uh, tried this out after installing the MOSFETs and it wasn't doing anything, it wasn't making any sound. What I came to realize is that because these things have big exposed metal tabs on them and there's a metal surface um, on the inside here, when you close this down these metal tabs will make contact here and it will short it out. And these things are a lot bigger than any other component that's on the board, so that's probably prone to happen if you do this kind of thing. So, I just covered them in electrical tape. That seemed to do the trick. And it's working beautifully now. So that's one thing to be aware of. So let's hear how it sounds.
Thank you.